Good morning! Get out your texture glazes, tar gel, and anything you have to create texture. We are going to show you some nifty ways to add or alter for color texture. Good morning, all. Good morning. Hi. Oh, we've already got some people. Good morning, Becky and Christy in the chat. No pre-show this morning. Yeah, we got it figured out. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> I do love the new, now that I know what's going on, I love the new interface that uh, the Streamlabs has offered us. So, yeah, P does have, like, right out of the gate, we're just going to, you know, as jump you guys, right yeah, jump right in, because we have lots to show and lots to do. So, I'm going to go face and top view. There we go. And if you're early, you're, you're going to get to see this. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not showing. I'm just... I'm going to go through some prints that I pulled a couple days ago using one of my now favorite stencils and <laughs> later I have a new stencil to show you that Mariah surprised me with and I, I was very excited about that. And let's just say it wasn't cut on a silhouette. <laughs> no, we're not happy with the silhouette. The silhouette was sent back. Yes. We, we did not hear from them. Their customer service yes. is very sucky. Oh, I didn't even see that. that. wasn't even the one that you gave me to take a picture of. Well, uh, Look it's, at not that. My, it's not my favorite, but I've got to show. I will why show are you, you showing people? Let's tell people why. I, because it's not my favorite. I just don't like it. It says quinacridone red <laughs> and naphthol red light. Oh, I was talking about the colors. But that texture <laughs> you, you see there, is the Leisha with us? Uh, No. Not yet. Okay. She did say that she was going to come in, so she, okay. she'll be here later. Well, this is this little thing that she sent me, and I... I <gasps> oh! Yeah. Those are the... Yeah, the, I think people use them to... I can remember people making, like, the coasters, and you do the yarn. The stitching. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like embroidery. I don't... Cross-stitch, maybe? Yeah, maybe. But anyway, that's... And here's one of the masks that... Came, but it's the plastic thing. Yeah. The little waffle-looking... Plastic stuff that you use as a base to do like coasters, and, and you can see a little things. bit of it right there. Ooh, that is some great texture. Now this is some brayer off to. I'm gonna keep this aside because I might do something. With that. All right, here, and I'm just gonna go top view for a second. I gotta go help look for something real quick. <laughs> and here's some paper that I've had forever, and I don't even remember what is some kind of watercolor. But anyway, I thought that was a wonderful texture, and I. Probably we'll do some more to that, too. Here is from last week when we were using the stencils with the um, sprays. And this was where I'd spray to get a pattern. Then I took the stencil, flipped it over, and put it down on paper. And this is one of the overprints on it. Which, you know, I, it's probably not finished, but... Ooh. And you were kind of holding out. Like, some of these I took the picture of, but... These I didn't. No. Well, yeah. I think we're getting down to the ones that you took yeah. the picture of. And the reason we're showing these is because this is where things would s start to, well, you would get it to this level. And then our next level is us doing what we're going to be doing and demoing today is all those awesome pictures, hopefully, that you guys have seen in the, um, in the other social media, Facebook and Instagram pictures. And I'm going to make black today. That's going to be my... Who knew you had to mix black? Well, you don't have to mix it, but we're going to show you how to do it. Okay, now here's the one that Mariah really needed to showcase, oh, yeah. but she did not. I did, I mean, too. I, I know. Well, I kind of sneaky peeked it. You did not do a very good job of, of showcasing it because it was just like a little piece and a part and then one of those weird, Tell you what, I'll weird post angles that you do. Uh, yes, the... Instagram view versus the, you know, straight I'm kind on. Of flat on the page. She's so flat. Person. She is so flat on the page. And this one, I'm going to move I, this a little bit. There and I'm go. trying to get it so you can see. That. Ooh. But the, again, it's that string stencil. I will show you that. Should I move that light a little bit? Well, I don't know. I wonder. It, well, it's certainly blowing out on white paper. Yeah. This is the this is the string stencil. I'll move it up a little bit and then kind of over. How's that? Is that a little better? Well, certainly, my eyes are happier about that. I think that's a little better. There. 
Yeah. I think, I think these are just beautiful backgrounds. One of these days I'll have, like, perfect settings, and then I'm going to put, like, you know, little, we'll have strings around the. <laughs> Again, here's some of my mixed up clouds. Look at that. that. That's amazing. And I, I love both of these. Okay, well. All right, so if you guys are new in here and uh, want to let us know that you're here, and you can do that by saying hello in the chat. I see that we have six viewers. We'd love, we, we are live at this moment in time. We're not watching a replay right now. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not. You're not. But you could be. Who knows? Okay, and here are two more things that I worked <laughs> on last week that kind of lead into where we're going today. And these were, again, remember this from displays. last week? This was some of that blotting and then the masking off. And then I just went ahead and just went with it. But what I want to point out here is these areas here. No, oh, she's see? getting a stick. <laughs> no pencil. I have my stick downstairs. <laughs> that when Mariah and I create <laughs> papers together because it, the I, monitor's a little further away. Yeah. yeah, and I, I can't point to it, so I point to the parts with the stick, and it's kind of our, you know, our joke. But this this is the light and fluffy modeling paste from CTW. Uh, T T the Crafters the Workshop. Crafters Workshop. We have such a hard time with that. I, I don't do. know why. It's like PBA and PBC and PCB and, and all that. CBS and CSB. Yeah, PBS and and CBS. <laughs> CBD. <laughs> okay. All right. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, it comes through. So that's plain, like not coloring. No, this is just the, the straight out of the jar. But we, the reason Thanks. we do some of these experiments and, and like to figure this <laughs> stuff out is you can use those types of things to your advantage. So, you know, like, so in the you last weeks, plan it. right, in the last weeks, we've been using all the color sprays and then doing the gel plate printing. And then, you know, this is like the next layer. Well, your next layer, you need to know how those other things are going to interact with one another. And one of the things that we have found is that with a lot of the gessos, um, whether it be clear or white, we've never used the black gesso. We need to kind of think about that at some point. And then bringing into like the texture mediums, whether it be the really heavy duty stuff or anything, it is going to pull some of those color sprays and it doesn't matter. So whether you have it on top of acrylic paints, because if, if it's sitting on top of the acrylic paints, it's still going to pull it through. Now, if you've layered it in such a way, it typically does not pull it through. No, if there's acrylic underneath, it's not going to pull it pull it through. Now, before we move on, because this is really an amalgam of everything we're going to be talking about today, uh, except for some of the glazes that I've created. Because that might be what, next week? This is, right? this is the some of the colored and I, I tried to match it up because, remember, I sprayed around the edge of this jelly print so that I could get the white to, to go away. To go away. Because I like Mariah know, That really bothers me. Um, oh, until it doesn't. Until it doesn't. And so this, this has so many <laughs> layers on it. And I also used... Oh, good morning, Carrie. Seth, good morning. Uh, we just watched one of your... Yeah, the tab... The tab yes. video this morning. I was like, oh, we totally need to do that. that. Why we haven't we to. done that? Yeah, I, I don't know. But anyway, you can see it. The just It's the coffee. Because we've been coloring paste and, and gels and things for the last, you know, two or three weeks. This has been very consuming, I must <laughs> say. I must say. Okay, this thing contains This thing is amazing. Everything. All right. And it weighs. I, I, put, I should have put it on the little. Little scales to see how much it, it weighs. It really. I needed to use better paper. It, it would it would but have required extra postage. I'll tell you that. Look at this. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea where that that. Oh, I know. Oh, Cookie Wookie. Cookie Wookie's with us. This started out as one of Izzy's Izzy's <laughs> artworks that I was allowed to take over, and and this is what it became. And it's getting shiny too. Look at that. It's very shiny. Okay, so I have some of my stuff on here. I have some of Seth's stuff on here. I have acrylic paints. I have the colored modeling paste. Hey, here. and Seth, after if you're in the, ch if you're watching, 
You should let us know in the chat. You or comment below. <laughs> you, you should, because this was made with you in mind. Yes. But I just, I abs the coffee is, is really is my favorite. I like the other two, but they're just not quite as dramatic, and they, they don't. And that's the nice thing we did discover, because number one, they are, you know, price point wise, they're a little costly. Yeah. Um, depending on, uh, obviously, what you want to use them for. Okay. So, one of the things that we found with the coffee um, glaze is that it's really awesome to create a bit of depth. So, what's nice is once you've put down some of the other texture paste stuff, and then once it's dry, come in with a bit of the glaze, it just adds that little bit of depth. In fact, can you hand me that card right there on top? No, I can't. We did that exact thing that I just discussed there with this little artist trading card. Yeah. So, and it required just a little bit versus using the glazes with a stencil. Because, I mean, you're going to have to use quite a bit of that Which I product did. to get down in there and get down on it. Get down yeah, on th it. This, this here is... is the straight on glaze. <laughs> red, they're saying red alligator skin. <laughs> this, this, right, this, this. Oh yeah, that's what we'll call it. We've been calling the other one but froggy. That's, that that is the other <laughs> thing too, because this has four different layers of product. Well, and I even used a little bit of. So you remember the if you guys were here last week, which most of you certainly in the chat were, um, we had made or P had made the tissue paper. And that's that one little piece there. And it was so cool because the same stencil was, due, was used so we could kind of layer it in. And it's kind of crazy. So I don't, it didn't line up exactly, but it was kind of interesting. Like overlaying that part, yeah, on top of. And then what's crazy on that backside is that that was the part that P had flipped yeah, over and just, and just kind of blotted off. And then I sprayed a bit more on it, and then we got, it, it, it kind of lifted it up a bit, came to the surface a bit more, and I was like, well, that's cool. I was going to cover up the back, but that turned out really well. Yeah. And that's a finished Just card right there. Things. But here we have, okay, so there's the underneath layer, which is a pickup. From last week. From last week. And you can see a little bit of stuff going on there. This is some uh, of the light and fluffy, and it's kind of that weird color. Of, uh, it's got a little color on it, but was that was not intentional because it, it was still it on the it was still on the stencil that I had. To oh, off. that does happen too. Yeah, and you just I don't know. You just have to be happy with that kind of stuff. Well, right. or, or again, be aware like of which layer or what color you've been using, and again, you can use that to your advantage. And that, we discussed that a bit last week with how, mm -hmm. you know, you'd rubbed through and even cleaning your stencils. Don't waste that. Have some catch paper down. Have something, you know, that next card ready. Um, yeah, rub it off. Yeah, and, and, and use it because even if it didn't turn out that great, it's just like that red card I just showed you. I just did some sprays on top of it, and then it really lifted that little bit of the block the that was off on there up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll talk more about those in a minute. And we are going to show some of this yeah. that we're talking about. We just want to kind of get you guys excited, understand the things that we've been doing all week, what we sort of did last week, and those of you that are new. And I think I didn't. I, I think I showed this last week. I'm not sure. But what this I this is the talk one that I've been taking pictures here, of, just in case I forget. All right, <laughs> Charlotte is with us. No, I don't know. No. Well, she might be. We've got some viewers in here, uh, and uh, well, I did. I did invite her, but I. Again, she's let us know in, that you're here in the chat. She's in the Netherlands, so I don't know. I don't know what time it is there. So we're at 6 o'clock. see the variety that we have here. And I have shiny, and then I have the matte. And I got that by adding... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, over tell the them top, exactly. The clear gesso. And... Be aware. <laughs> clear gesso. Clear gesso will pull the staining colors yes. the dye colors and yes. it does it with printables and all kinds of things so 
I mean, we love this stuff. We, we have actually come to love this. We, we were scared of it at first, and it irritated us because all it would uh, do I, is bleed out our stuff. But again, And I'm sure that there are other matte mediums that you could use on top, but I'm just saying that's what I used right there to cut down on the shine if you don't like that glistening effect. And if you're using it on top of the acrylics and things of that nature, it's not going to have that pull through. No. Not at all. Just with the sprays or just dyes or inks, uh, you know, like printed. Or the brush hose. Or, well, brush hose. That yeah, stuff, I mean, gets, you can. Through brush hose. All the right, humidity so in the air. Here's, here's <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte, you'll just have to watch this on the. On, on the, the replay. On the do-over. <laughs> on the do-over. That's what our baby calls it. <laughs> she does. I need to go back to the do-over. She mentioned this when we were working on a journal. Oh, you're squirreling. I am for just a moment, but I okay. promise I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just a, a small a diversion. All right, get there. <laughs> okay, this, use this to help you find your card. Because the inside dimensions of here are an ATC card. And you just put it around to you. Is find, it really? It seems yeah. weird. It's like, here, where's that card? I don't, I don't know that I believe it's, her. Well, it's the inside. <laughs> Is it? Look at oh. that. All right. I mean, that's just about it. <laughs> Things on your screen may seem larger than in but, real life. <laughs> well, it's because you're looking at the outside. But when you start doing this, all of a sudden you start seeing things that you, you really didn't see before. Your focus. Your focus. is Focus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Enough said. But, I mean, these are just, this is some ink stuff. I, was, I really wanted to use that, that, that Gowan thing. Remember the focus. <laughs> Anyway, inside. Okay, I, th I think that yeah, it, it is. All right. So <laughs> now, that being said, oh, I do want to look at this. <laughs> look at this. You got to scoot it over a little because you're behind oh. my face. There we go. Oh, sorry. Oh, hello, Deborah. You're new. Welcome. 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 Is this Deborah? Is this Deborah that I talked to last night? Deborah, what? I can't remember. Pettinger. Yes. Hello, Deborah. And, and Deborah, um, yes. We kind of. She hasn't had enough coffee this morning. Yeah, I haven't had enough coffee. Okay, and I, she, she's I'm going, going through to put the things and over brain. here for just a moment, but don't <laughs> let me forget these because they're really important. Why don't we just talk about them? No, I, I'm on to another thing. Oh, here. goodness. I'm going to put them in my hand then. Okay, that would be good. All right, so look at me notating here. Okay, so this was one drop of teal golden fluid in with the, um, with the tar, tar gel. gel. Now, we have figured out that the tar gel is extremely similar to the three-dimensional Mod Podge type product because it's, it's like watery-ish. But you can see it. It's it, it, kind of that funny. But it holds up. It holds up. It dries up. completely clear. And it holds a bit more form than the three-dimensional. Yeah, because you can see this. You can, it, it's bumpy. The three-dimensional Mod Podge flattens out a lot. Where this and stuff seems to hold a bit more, don't you think? I, I really, it's certainly comparable. And it's, the price-wise, even though it is golden, is a lot less than... <laughs> the three-dimensional Mod, Mod Podge that comes They're in the little... proud of that little box. Well, it's, it's all about packaging. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway... But I, you know what? Here's this my, is my recipes here. Here's my guess on that. Is yeah. like the three dimensional Mod Podge is probably the base to like regular Mod Podge, so it's like the concentrate. Okay, this is uh, a golden great. fluid, Shit. two drops of yellow iron oxide to create my Mariah referred to it. You know, as she was very. Well, this is caramel. This yeah, looks it, like caramel. And the whole thing is, is it's not the color it was anymore because I changed it. I, I didn't. Well, like we that. needed it a little different. We yeah. needed a little more. All right, we've already talked about this, but I am going to take some of my um, pink stuff. Okay, slide it over a little bit. There you go. There we go. And put on top of that as soon as I get through talking well, about all the rest did we, of this. Did we talk about that last week? I can't remember. What, I think we did. Kind of go over. So this over here yeah, is the clear gesso, that. correct? Yes. And we Which were a little. Put, put through a stencil. And we were and it sad. Right when I did it, it was awesome because it also held like texture. Poopy. Yeah. Well, it flattened out. It, it soaks in, yeah. and then it see it grabs all that color and bleeds it out. So 
But that's what happened. We need here. something that does exactly what it did, like when you very first applied it, and then just holds that. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> and we, we have to find it. Okay, I thought this was an interesting little experiment because I just took the tar gel and drizzled it around. And you can kind of do batik style because now if I would go back over those other areas with that, it would all, it would hold that. So when you batik something, because some of you guys may not know even what. It's a wax resist process. Yeah, it was the, yes, Cookie Wookie, the, the one flower that bled out all the stuff over there. That was, yeah, the clear gesso, the Dino Wakely. Dina. Dinah. We never know. Uh, yeah, We've I, messed I, ourselves up. It's in our brain. Um. <laughs> okay, this is something that I'm going to work on today, Mariah. Can you keep that? Okay, I'm putting it in. And there. I just smeared a whole bunch of stuff on here, but you can see the shiny. I was going to I had a really good idea. Oh, about the batik thing and holding each layer. Because batiking, you do it with wax. Yeah. You do it with that. It's, it's a fabric dyeing technique. And so you do each layer with wax, and then you iron out the wax. But obviously with this, each layer you hold the color, and then you just, you're going to build up texture. All right, this is done with a stencil that um, I absolutely love. Because Everybody loves this stencil. I, it has so many things that you can do with it. It's perfect size for the ATC cards if you're using it in a larger format <laughs> page. You Aww, can... Cookie would said thanks for the art basics. No one seems to do that so much. Well, we try. Like We want people to know like where some of this is coming from and you know certainly where our brains are at and why we make the decisions that we do. And... Okay, yeah, and I'm turning this over because this is brushes. <laughs> Brushes will come through the light and fluffy. Brushes will come through everything. Let's just be honest. And even after it has dried for a very, very long time, I will say, though, that I was surprised that one um, journal page I just did, we did with the orange and the um, praying mantis and everything, it actually didn't reactivate as much as I thought it was going to. So I do think maybe after a certain amount of time, like a year or so, <laughs> it might set. <laughs> okay, here are some of my colored modeling paste through a stencil. And what colors did you use to color that? Which one? Well, both of them. Come um, on now. This? Yeah, the yellow. How did you get the blue? How did I get the blue? Um, I have to consult my book. I have a book. Because I think the blue... Becky, that's... um. Mom, P, she she started out like that wasn't. You took a lot of batik classes. That was my major that was area of emphasis at, when I got my art degree. Um, we should show those one day. There, we have them hanging. Well, on the we do have some. I, uh, really, some of the really good ones I gave away as presents, yeah, unauthorized giveaways. This this this, <laughs> this blue here started out, and I don't know what it is now because. As I, as I get low on them, I just mix up some more stuff, and I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. I... Oh, little Rhonda Lee! Hi! Hi, Rhonda. I'm so glad she got up early today. Good for you, Rhonda. Okay, so this is, this was the Delusion Shimmer Spray stuff that was in the bottom. Remember, I dug it out. Oh, Carrie, thank you. That's so sweet. Yes, if everyone would hit the like button, that would be super, super. Look, at she, she's, she's helping us out in the chat. I love it. <laughs> God knows we need it. <laughs> but this is this was from last this is from last week. But I also have some stuff from for this week in my little book here. But yes, this is just colored using the. Um... And if you weren't here last week, so what had happened is we couldn't get our delusion sprays to work any longer because they were the shimmer ones, and they get clogged up. And we're terrible people that do not um, maintain things properly, or certainly as suggested by the manufacturer. So they were all clogged. Every one of them. None of them were. P has spent the last two weeks unclogging these. But in the meantime, what she had done is basically, and a lot of them were blues anyway. We so we just mixed everything. Except for the yellow. Because that we poured into the um, amber, I believe, these are, right? These were my little. <laughs> here's my little. Now, see, you can see the, the color on the. And that's where the color came from. Yeah. So we used the sprays. And so how much okay, did you pour in there? Like a couple four. of. Dops. Here. Oh, yes. oh heavens no. I, I took all the stuff, the sediment that was in the bottom. Oh, that's right. And dug it out because it had solidified to the point that I had to It was to like take, crusty. Yes. I had to take Mariah's little tool. So it was the powder. And dig it out. The sediment was more of a powdered form. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is number four. And what was crazy is so once you mix it in with that paste, the sparkle goes away, which I was a little sad about. I was kind of hoping for some cool yeah, sparkle. Oh, well, but sparkle. None. 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 Now, the thing yeah, is, is we have the color. we have something today to possibly show you. I, I hope we get to it that it did keep some of the sparkle, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now I did also mix up a bunch using brushos. Yeah, the the spray is always clogged. We're we're terrible. Especially if it has any kind of I, pigment. I, I, don't, I don't even buy that stuff anymore because no. I know it's going to, like, go poopy. We, we like to shimmer after. We're, we're a post-shimmer. <laughs> we don't need the shimmer in because, like, it, and plus, I, I could never, I'm always in awe of the, especially the card makers that use the shimmer sprays. Everything I made turned out lime green because they would all mix. Huh. Every time. And I'm like, yeah. okay, I, just, I mean, I might as well just buy the lime green and <laughs> do that. I, I'm big on lime green. I I use Izzy's little Mod Podge things, but the next size up is my lime green. I have it full. Becky, they recommend, like, every time that you use them to wipe the nozzle. And even sometimes they say to actually remove the sprayer, clean it out, and then, like, store them either on their side because see, if you store them up, that's where that it gets caught in the groove. So if you store them a little bit to the side, at least you're going to be knocking about the the shimmer with the little roller ball that, or you know, the metal balls that are in there to shake it up. But again, we are just it's like I say every time we talk about this. This is why I don't own dry cleaning because I, I can't like just it's too much yeah. maintenance. There's other things that I want to do in my life. This is oh, why I don't okay. clean my house like I should or want to. Because uh, I just have other things. Cleaning too. makes you ugly. That's what P says. <laughs> okay, so right, moving right along here. Okay, Did, I guess that answered questions. And I, you know, if you have anything to say or comment or, or oh, add, hey, Cookie Wookie says she was wondering about cutting down the tube part that's in the empty ones that we showed last week. Yeah. Oh, I did, and I made up some brand new ones, which I'm hoping. <laughs> so to we don't get... like get rid of our spray bottles. We oh, just use them for something I, else. I am telling you, I there. soaked these babies for days. Days. But what What I did <laughs> is I did cut off that little part that goes clear down into the groove because that's where this it, sediment it, goes. Yeah. So immediately when you hit that sprayer to spray it, it's sucking that stuff up in there. So yeah, that's why it doesn't work. It was it was according a flawed, to PM Artist Studio. <laughs> a flawed design. Oh, and this light amber, oh this is a really nice color that I mixed up. Is that amber? This is light amber. Yes. You want me to? Oh, I can't show we'll you that. We'll do it here yes, in a minute. Because I need my spray booth because it, it yeah. yeah. And one of them is kind of wonky because I had to take a pen and dig some stuff out. <laughs> so. And it goes like this. <laughs> Not here. One part goes up here and one part goes here. Here, here. Yeah. Okay. All right. We <laughs> talked about this last week, pulling color from Did you put animals. a warning on that one? Uh, no, I'll just have to try it out. I, I'm, I think I'm kind of done she with She did put this. a warning label on one of them, too. This. I'm done with this. If you saw that last week. Oh, we might do some fun stuff with this. Okay. Yeah, this we need was, to get this. This is a failed. No, that's just the, you know, base level. Base level. And here is an example of printing. And I, I really. Oh, they already have it, Christy. You can buy them. They have little shakers. A little thing that you remember I showed you that like it was like a year or so ago. Yeah, they sell them on Amazon. Little okay, and we might go ahead. I didn't get I like didn't, the paint shakers at the hardware store. But I didn't small. spray these last week, but I might spray these with my new spray. Yeah. Okay, I'll spray these with the new spray at the end, perhaps. At, perhaps. Okay. Perhaps. I'm going to yeah. put you just Mariah's my you know other brain here. Are you doing stuff with these? I don't think so. Okay. I think I've got plenty of other stuff. And I, I don't want to talk about any of this stuff. <laughs> I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. I'm just going to hand it to you. Okay. Because this is stuff we did last week and we already talked about it. If you see anything that you want to know about, just let, let me know. Let us know in the comments. Because I'm just going through this really quickly because it's just, again, We're ready to is, do so. I'm like, we've got to, like, put some things on a stencil. <laughs> And this is my other idea that I had where I took the leftover parts of a... It'll be a minute, Carrie, so go get your coffee. No worries. <laughs> I'm still digging through the pot. <laughs> digging through the pot. 
Okay, am I keeping these or this is all just going away? That's going away unless okay. I tell you otherwise. Okay. I want to. I want you to spray this because I'm. Oh well, you got tape. Never what? mind. Well, you've taped it down there. You know, Izzy Junior. Oh. Well, Rather than gluing it. Hey, the tape it. sometimes has a really interesting texture. Well, I know, but that's not what I, I wanted to. I think I'm to. going to spray that. And then you have things behind you. Yeah, I do. Um, this is really mm. interesting, but I don't want to do anything with that right now. <laughs> this is an old brush -o. Oh, and that's that's one of Lisa's papers. <gasps> yes, it is. Yeah, so if you want to... Oh, my forehead. Because we want to show that, because it does some cool things with the paste. It does. And here's an old print that I stenciled on top of. Well, that was from last week. That from was one of the week. blotters. Yeah. Well, actually, it started out as it started out as a kind of eh, pull. Then she blotted with it, and, and then you sprayed it. Yeah, and I then think. I sprayed it. And we might go ahead and do some spraying on this one. But here again are the colored paste, and you can see what you can do with them on top of. Because if you use them thick enough, they really are opaque, and they will take out. Here, can you? All right, I'll show it a little bit here. This See is the sprays. I don't really think I'm going to do anything with that. See how it's kind of hard, I know, to see how textured some is and versus I want, others. I want to do something with that. So, was that a yay or nay on this? I'll put it away. Okay. Okay, now I think we're pretty well. These are yays. Those are go away. Nays. Okay. And I want to spray this. I want to spray this because I, I just I have it, so I don't know what happens. Yeah. And I, I'm going to spray this. I don't know what happens to that. I know it's a, this was pastes and stencils, but this this was a this was a <laughs> what you call a blotting paper. Uh, is batik usually done with wax? Yes. Yes. And a tool called a janty. Janty. What is what is this word? A n d r e s i s t. Anderists. I don't know that word. Yeah, we don't know what that is, but yes, you're right. It is done or, or a chop because they would dip the a, a big stamp looking thing in Into the wax, wax, and then that's how they create a, a repeated pattern. Or it's then hand done with a janty. Yes, yes, ma'am. You are absolutely right. And I'm going to put that right. Christy there. even knows this. I mean, our garage growing up used to be filled with. Yeah, we didn't have any any. If you wanted measuring cups or measuring spoons, you had to go to the garage and get, get them because that was using them for. Okay, very. And we never parked a car. I, I mean, we never realized that one actually kept a car in a garage. <laughs> That's that <was> boring concept. <laughs> Who boring does that? Concept. It's just a. It's, it's the other art studio. Okay, I want to get the right one here. I know what I forgot to get, Mariah, was our makeup that we used to make this Oh, uh, well, that's downstairs. I'm not doing that. Okay, well, I've got some in my, my closet, too, that I've used. Okay, now here's the... Yes, resist. Yes, exactly. Here's the taupe-colored... Love this. Um, ...stuff that I used on a lot of this, a lot of the ATC cards. And I can show you very quickly, but I'm not going to. It's not that impressive. But what I am thinking here is we're going to do something very quickly. I have no idea if this is going to work. I meant to do a trial run. This is some of my uh, glaze that I mixed up, and I don't know if I have. I'm guessing Christy was saying, remember our paper mache that hung in the garage? I don't remember that. See, Christy remembers a lot more than I do. Christy's my best friend from, like, the fourth grade, so. <laughs> Christy is. Uh, Lil Rodri uh, no, we have not tried paint pouring. We're not really paint pourers. I, I just, it's a lot of paint. Well, and, and we don't really, we have a three-year-old. Yeah, well, and about that, to be a four-year-old, and, oh, my God, that just. A, a total recipe for disaster. Yeah, we try to keep. Boy, she would want to be involved in that, like, oh. major, big time. It, okay, this is shiny going on. I'm doing this early on because I want to look at it at the end to see if it's actually drying. All right, you need to, yes, okay, you're better now. Kind of keep it in that middle area there, and then your lighting's a little better. I'm just trying to hit those same spots 
that I hit. Yeah, Becky says, yeah, it, it doesn't waste a lot of paint. Like, I'm always like, what do they do with all that paint that falls off? And I have a, I struggle. I struggle with that. I love some of that results. And we have a friend that does all that stuff. Now, can you put that someplace where it's not touching anything yeah. else for a while? I will. All right, one thing, and I have my little jar over here, and I never keep my brush, but if you want to reuse your brush at any point in time, you need to put it in water. Now, did you talk about, like, how you made that taupey color? Is that in the book? Uh, no, I don't she didn't, think I did. She did not uh, log that color. This taupey color is created by using... So it's the U.S. Art Supply, right? U.S. Art Supply modeling paste. paste. Uh, some of the Arteza copper, which was really... And again, that sparkle it, does it. Man, it, it's see, so funny. See, I'm not lying. There's a little bit of it <laughs> remaining on the edge right there where I didn't get it mixed in really well. I wanted it to be shinier and, and nicer. Okay, here. Look, we've got a back of a card. Mariah's going to be saying ugly things to me. Oh, look, I clicked something and I didn't mean to. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm putting I'm this back. down. This is my really ugly folder that I use. Or maybe I should just go top view. Let me know. Do you like seeing my face? <laughs> I, I'm going through stencils real quick here. <laughs> Here's the... Oh, yeah. Some people were really... They, they were very interested in this. Um, so those cool prints that P was showing at the very, very beginning there. And we said she uses her bits. And remember, I think she showed this a little bit last week. I just don't want to do this shiny, shiny thing. But see how she connected them with the string, and then that left, so it created a whole new stencil mask kind of thing, along with even more texture. So depending on which way you lay it, you get the stringy bits. So yeah, don't, don't throw your bits away if you're making your own stencils on the cutting machine. I'm thinking that like, even if we do start selling our stencils, we'll send the bits too if you want them. Look at that. Bonus. Bonus bits. <laughs> okay. You know, here, here it is. Aw, Christy, I love your face, too. She's so and you, my stencil scooted, and this is why I, I say that the ones that have the border around them, where you can actually hold on to them. She likes that. I, who knew that was going to be like a life change? Well, and it's so crazy because it seems like such an obvious thing, but obviously it wasn't obvious. <laughs> obviously. So did we decide, like, so it's the copper Arteza and then some other things that, you know, she found and mixed in about 20 different, um, you know, million things. And... I, I'm thinking right off the hand, Van Dyke Brown, as I do. I kind of remember you talking about that, because I had asked when she showed it to me, I'm like, oh man, that is an amazing brown. <laughs> that's, that's really good. And here's the other reason that you like borders are really nice, is because when you get ready to pull it up, you don't know where to. Okay, now. I'm going to take this. Now, here is a thought I just had about, like, if you wanted to get, like, grout from the hardware store. Because it comes in, like, haystack. Because that's the color that we have at our house. I bet it would be similar. Now, something to keep in mind with that, though, is a lot of that grout um, will have a sealant in it. So, it probably wouldn't take any other paint as well. Depending on what kind of grout you get. Right? Yeah. Yes. I'm thinking so. I know, now, I know some hardware stuff. A lot didn't happen there, but you're Ooh. getting a little bit of texture just by cleaning up the stencil. stencil. Okay, now. And this, this was this this was the type this was the technique on that very first red one that I showed. Yeah. And then when you spray it, it comes through even more. And it's pretty amazing. And if you don't, you know, if you you do you're bothered by your edges. Oop. Get you can weird. just come in Maybe that's and better. kind of um, It'll... dab at it with the whatever to make it look intentional. I freaked out my camera. Oh. And there we go. Yes, spackle. You could do the same thing. I w we're thinking that um, using... I actually did see some woman using that. Yeah. And her only thing was... All right, seriously, come on. Uh, it had a little bit more tendency to... There we go. Crack. So it wasn't didn't have a flexibility factor in in it. That's that right. Usually you have where you pop these polymer. 
yeah, where you probably would with the grout, because if you get certain types of grout, it has like a sealant in it, so it's going to be more rubbery. But again, yeah, then the right, texture. right then you aren't going to get if it is that rubbery stuff. It's not going to take other mediums as well. So it's kind of like you want like this balance between the two. You you love the spackle because it's going to take the stuff because it's it's open and it's okay, like I'm move this one. I lost you know my lid. <laughs> there it is. Good. Okay, so so just some stuff to keep in mind. Yeah, with using you know products from the hardware store, I'm all for it. Well, just those would be things uh -huh. that I would initially think. All right, well, you want to sort of keep that in mind where you're putting it in your mixed media layering and what you want it to do. Okay, now these are, and this is done with the Topi one oven. version or. One round, right? Now, and you can see it's got <laughs> multiples on there. It has the bottom layer, which is just spray. Spray. Then it has the next layer, which is the little, little, uh, the brown. Then over the top of that is another layer of stenciling done with the modeling paste. Yeah. Okay. And the same is for this one. Yes, also. exactly. A little round of Yes. Okay. I'll just call I, you on I can't use those because Mariah's already. But some of these. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah, keep the stack separated there because I have color, stuff done. Um, I'm very excited about that one. You can see the. Can you see it? So that one was some of the delusion spray colored, colored yeah. paste. And this was not. This was sprayed. Yeah. I know because this is the stain. This is the mop up blotting on the back. Okay, let's take that one and do that one. Okay, what are you doing? I'm just going to stencil on the back. Okay. Because it's it's fairly sturdy card. Some of my cards are a little wimpy. And I can use wing. <laughs> yes. Rhonda's going to go start perusing through her husband's um, stuff in the garage to see what she can. <laughs> hey, trust me, some of that spackle needs to be used up. It doesn't tell you it age well. It is no. not like wine. <laughs> And it's always like you have to buy new every time anyway. So it's like, I why know. do we keep this stuff? Or, you know, they just need little. Okay, now Mariah's probably already having a hissy fit about oh, the green. This, this minty green. But it looks good. I kind of have, I kind of have a, a, a Do you have a vision? I have a vision. And I don't know if I, I'm going to like this. Now, these little stencils are some prototypes <laughs> that didn't go so great. One of the reasons we will not. We, we got rid of the silhouette because oh, we're shame. very angry. Yeah, we're not happy with that whole situation. Okay, Mariah, you can read to them what this is. This exactly, is number, Rhonda. Six, exactly. Six in the book. Oh, six in the book. Six in the book. Mariah's going to read to you what it is. I love that you have a book. I really do. It makes me so giddy. She, she just has little <laughs> mini orgasms when I make lists and books and write stuff down. She's so inappropriate. Um, leaf green brushos. <laughs> there you go. Six to ten, or I don't know if this is six minus ten equals <laughs> powder crystal H2O color. Can you decipher what is that? What is this math that's going on here? Six to ten. Oh, use number six on the <laughs> hugs book. card. There you go. You just. All right. Now, the thing about this is, and, and it's kind of what we're not going to be able to do anything right now with this. And that's why we have so many examples and why we've been building this up yeah. over the weeks, because you got to let it dry. You got to let it dry. But I want to clean this stencil off on something else here. But look at how good that. Okay. I don't mind this. And this is not really all that in, all that wonderful. Anyway. Aaron, I'm probably freaking the camera out again. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a weird light, and I don't really even know from where. Aliens. <laughs> One of these days, I'll figure out this lighting situation. And the other thing about this is, is even though there is just a tiny little bit going on to your surface here, it's going to be a resist mm -hmm. if you come back, because the base is, you know, acrylic. 
Okay, now that's not earth hold it, shatter. Yeah, hold it up, yeah, to yours. Because you're getting way better lighting today over there. Normally it's the other way around, but, well, that's a little close, but it's looking pretty good there. Do a little turn. <laughs> now a little shuffle. <laughs> that's what Mariah does. It drives me absolutely. Yeah. We say it every time. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, now, that, that stencil's cleaned off. It's fairly good. Good enough for the people I hang with. Okay, so. <laughs> Which would be me and Izzy. <laughs> and do clean your palette knife off because it really is yeah. a bummer when you come back. You've got to take it to the, in our case, we have a bathroom that is, the sink is where we use. And scrub it off with this scrubby mm -hmm. rubby thing. Okay, I'm done with that. Scrubby rubby. Now, thing. where where do we go next? Okay, I'm just at a complete loss. Well, where, where's your list? I, I don't have a list. I, I I just thought I didn't need a list. Mm. Um, Here, well, will you want to? Are we spraying? No. No, I really I want to talk about the glazes, and I want to use the glazes on some of these Ooh, things. Okay, found some rock hard. Water putty. Gonna have to experiment. Yes, I would say if it's rock hard, you could actually like see, like put some water in there and let it resolubilize. It might actually do it if it's putty, like um, spackle. Oh, it might come back enough to where you could use it. I don't know how well it's gonna stick, but if you put something else over it, it may not matter. All right. Well, you know, um, that would be my suggestion. Yeah. Are now you going to use that to stencil or spray? Well, I was going to spray through it, but I don't really want to I mean, do that because I'm going to get that all over that, and it'll, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll never be it the same. It'll <laughs> never be the same. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead with the ones that I've mixed up here. And now if you guys have something that you that we haven't shown, and for whatever reason you in particular want to see it, let us know. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're just trying to cover and re kind of come back to all the things that we have done the last couple of weeks and say, all right, well, you know, once we've added this layer, because it started out as like the gel prints and then um, the sprays, and then now we're coming in with more of the pastes and then altering the pastes either before you put them on or then understanding how they're going to react after you have like sprayed something, what's going to come through, how to color those pastes, because that's why we were thinking about it in the terms of, well, you know, sometimes you want a particular color in that bit of texture, but you don't know maybe how it's going to react with what is already on the page, or you want it to react in a certain way. I, and I'm going to keep, you know, what to keep talking about that because that's that's the thing that is constant with everything that we do is understanding what each layer is going to do with what has previously been done can you hear that sound <laughs> that's running over those little rays so christy asks are the glazes as thick as the paste is the glaze no, no ma'am they are not are, is glaze for texture <laughs> Like raised gel for shiny. Yeah. Now this this will it, it, it is. I will show you some of the the um, ones that Seth has and show you how much they're really really thick. They're ultra thick. All right. So there's kind of two ways you can look at it. You can run these gel or the glazes through stencil, and that's kind of what I was talking about in the beginning. There is that. You know, especially with the glazes from Seth After, his stuff is, you know, it's kind of pricey. So it requires a lot, especially, you know, if you're doing really big pieces or whatever, it's going to require quite a yeah, bit to push it into the stencil deep. and leave enough there to pull off and leave that texture, which is then also going to be a bit shiny with the glazes. Now, this tar gel stuff is slick and shiny like ice. And but it will see that thing that I just made there. That will ripple. hold. It will hold. That will hold. We're, we're like the cut. Show. It will cut. It will hold. <laughs> I, I don't really like at all that. Oh, uh, she, so we got to show some of the stenciling over um, the jelly prints. 
stenciling over the jelly prints. Yes. Okay. The one I have that has the little, it's it's green. This one? Y no. no. This one. Has white squares on it. Yeah. Are you going to do another layer? Because that's... I uh, No, that's not the one. That's not a jelly plate print. It's the jelly print that has the white sections on each side. Jelly print with the white sections on either side. And I don't know, I might have one back here that I can grab, but I really wanted that one because it's so. All right, I'm, I'm wiping this off, and I'm going to open up my sort of amber colored. I'm trying to replicate because I tried to order it, and it was completely out. Well, here's some of your new ones. Seth's. Are you done? No, no, no. It already has modeling paste on it. Oh, here, this one. Okay, now do you see? Right. Yes, ma'am. That's the gel plate. Yeah. Right. Oh, my goodness. This stuff is so sticky. And you really, it, it, it does take a bit to dry. And I, I'm not just whistling Dixie when I say don't put these on top of each other because they. Yes, I think the tub caulking would, but I, which would be great. Just I don't know that it's going to take any color, so you may want to pre-color it. Like what we're doing kind of here with the paste and thinking about, like, if you don't want it stark white or get caulk that's, I mean, I think it comes probably in maybe three colors, like beige, white, and well, ivory. You can always <laughs> you can always color it with acrylic paint. And yes. It's, it's, you know, I mean, make it whatever you want. You and want, then I think that, to. I think that that would work. Okay, I'm really, I'm, I'm loving this color because wherever it goes over that blue, we're getting that nice kind of that grungy brown which you know use your color wheel orange and blue makes brown it's toning down that crazy blue yeah that wild but that's it's it's good to have delicious. a little bit of that come through because i think that's what creates some interest it it really is and and what 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 i want here because remember my little frame that i showed you earlier these are probably all going to become ATC cards eventually. Yes. That, or they'll become a page in a, a in a journal. They're not a standalone. No. Whatever. All right. Now this needs to go away for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Becky says she has some in the garage and it is now not going to be used for normal purposes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right. Now I'm taking my little and I want to talk we, about. We, we have we have tubes and tubes of that. Cock. We really should probably bust some out and the, do some with it. The design or the drawing on here, the mark making, is done with the... Can you hold that up to the light? <laughs> Carol Ann. Please. Um, it is the Aquarellable? Aquarellable. But it's a stay below pencil. And that, and it is, it's going to react to your water based stuff. Can you see what's happening over here? Where it's for paper, it, glass, plastic, and metal. Yeah. It is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Hey All Christy, right, the should... Christmas card that we sent you had some of this on it. The cats. Yeah. Let me tell you, you you want to put something over this. Alright, gel plate. I'm I'm ready. I mean the um, gel plated um, it's like you said we were gel plating today. <laughs> Which one? The one that you had out. Oh dear! The green one with the white check. Okay, here we go. Well, I found it again. To see that. Okay. Yes, this is Rhonda. Rhonda. This Rhonda. is gel plated. You can see the crusty bits. You can hear them. And it has been once. Um, it has been done with the regular U.S. Art the, Supply paste. U.S. Art Supply. And, and my stencil. And this is the new stuff. And I That's think. U.S. Art Supply plus the Delusions. I don't know. How did you make the yellow? Let me look at the it's book. It's not really yellow. It's really kind of a green. It's, it's sort of a limey green. It really is, and I don't know which number. Is it five? Oh, my gosh. And this was lost. This Lemon morning. zest and vanilla custard. Yeah. That's See, those were the, the two. those were the two yellows that I had, and they went into the amber bottle, I believe. Or some of it did end up a little bit with the crazy mix. Okay, I'm just really... gotta watch out because, like I said, everything ends up green. 
It yeah. all goes to green. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I don't know why this happens. <laughs> But I you know, could not keep my end of the day. I could not keep my work. sprays. This is why they hair dry thing. Oh, okay. That, that's I, I believe that that's where my you know misunderstanding and inability to keep my colors separated. Okay, now see, look at that. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? I don't know. I think it's absolutely stunning. Now this is the. What did you make to mix this one? That's the tar gel. Is it's the tar gel, and I use tiny bits of. Okay, where's my? Uh, oh, I have them here. These, right? Sort of, maybe these, or is it that one? I I don't I don't know. That's the makeup one. Oh yeah, this is All the right, makeup one. I can one. just tell you right now. It has iron oxide. The golden transparent. Open. Golden open. It has some of the, um, maybe one drop, I mean, you know, of the Van Dyke Brown or Burnt Umber. That's the other one I use all the time. Yeah. I, I can't really remember. All right. Should so, I tell the joke again? We have some new people. This is so lame. <laughs> so lame. But she's just dying to tell you something. Let her. Okay. So, what, it, it's the... Why is it that people can't cook? It doesn't seem they can cook umber. It's either raw or burnt. <laughs> okay. I think it's hilarious. It makes me chuckle every time. Here's some of the... <laughs> this This is done with makeup. Powdered true colors. Oh, I wrote back it down in, somewhere. Yeah, back in the day. I mean, this stuff is old. Like, way old. I, and I think, you know, there's some brand or something that probably still makes it. But it used to come in a little screw, like, they would all connect, which was terrible in some ways, because, like, you had to keep them all together, because you only have one lid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a great concept, yeah. you know, in thought, but in practice, not so much. Yeah. But anyway, so I still have some, because I, you know, I'm a hoarder of makeup. And she knew that I had some, because she had some too, but she's like, I wanted that one specific color. And so that's what it is. And it's like this iridescent. Okay, book. I need the book. And actually, here's that little piece, because I think that's your mix to that. Ah, yes, it is. There you go. If you just put a little bit in, but I actually have, um, yeah, here it is. Her one Look scoop, two scoops. Ah, ah, ah. That's my. There it is. Dracula, you know, the count, count Dracula thing. One scoop, two scoops, three scoops, four uh, scoops. Uh, uh, uh. And, you know, I probably need to. <laughs> I am just, I'm making I need myself to really laugh make this today. Up a little bit because I think it kind of. I'm sure everybody's laughing out there. I'm getting LOLs. I don't know if it's at me or. <laughs> just... But I really, I love this stuff because can you see that that, if you get that a lot on there, I'm going to really put a big old glob. If you overdo it, <laughs> that's the other thing Izzy says. To like rewind, just, just overdo it. <laughs> okay, we think now, it's hilarious. I think. Can you see it? Can you see mm -hmm. it? Look Isn't that. that lovely? All right, shall I bust out Seth's stuff or should I continue with mine? Uh, you let us know in the chat, guys. You want to see? I see think we should show some of it. Who knows? Seth could be watching. He just doesn't want to say anything. Oh, don't be shy, Seth. Don't be shy. We do chat with him every once in a while. We do. Uh, and I admire feeling feeling a little stalkerish, but that's all right, you know. Well, that's what this is all about, <laughs> right? Legitimized stalker. <laughs> it's okay. It's the internet. <laughs> okay, we'll just put. It's in the name of art. This is probably my least favorite color. This yellow, but because you know. it just it's kind of doesn't give you a lot of oomph. Well, and you know, it's just it's. It, it's yellow. It's yellow. It, Christy, we should probably send it off to her. She'd love it. She loves yellow. Okay, well, it's, it's looking interesting. It's looking kind of... Well, now I'm understanding how everything's turning, like, you know, froggy. It's not green. <laughs> She's so rude. <laughs> so rude. Now, I think that's lovely. Well, and if you put it over that yellow paste, that's actually not horrible. Because it creates, then, more highlight. Versus 
the other where it's creating shadow. Okay, don't just put something in one place. Make sure you put it someplace else. Repetition, repetition. Repetition, repetition. I said that. Do, do, I'm going to have to scrape do. some of this and put it over here. <laughs> because I, I, it's a rule until it's not a rule. Until you have a good reason for not doing it. Oh, well, go, no worries. Hey, go get that acupuncture done. Oh, man, I'll say. What, what yeah. do you... Is she her foot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I yeah. used to have a wonderful acupuncturist. Okay, let's not. All right, we're not going to get all chatty about that. Oh, uh, I, I believe in them, like, totally. Yes. So. Yes. So, yes. Take care of yourself. Oh, shoot. I wanted to do... Come back. Watch the replay. Make sure you make yeah. comments when you do, and if you haven't, uh, be sure to like the video. <laughs> Here's some wonderful, some coffee stuff. Oh, this is our favorite. Can you open that for yeah. me, please? I'm really, I'm very into the coffee. But I think okay. you can start seeing how building up, it, it isn't just one. Okay, we started out with a gel plate. <laughs> this is why not, it can't be done in one video or one section or anything. And that's why I, and see, this little bit here. It, it, it's going to go a long ways. So even though it does seem a bit pricey originally. If you use it in this way, which we think is kind of more the intended. I, I think so. I, I, I don't know. Seth, if you're out there, can you <laughs> chime in? You know? Just let, let the people know how your products are supposed to be used. On our channel. <laughs> well, he, he, he uses it in all, all kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, and actually, when he demoed some of um, the newer stuff, that's kind of how he had done it, too. It's just that smear, and then you sort of rub it around. So that way, that texture, the paste parts, then have that bit of highlight at the top. And then you're working the product down in and around to create that shadowing. And if you, you cover up your white stuff and you don't want you don't like it, you can come back in and you can rub kind it of off. Buff, yeah, buff it off with the But see look how nice that is over there. Thanks, Rhonda. Good luck. Well, Get Ron, better. Rhonda's he headed to the acupuncturist. Alright, I just didn't you know whip a little bit off on the whip it. Whip off it good. On the, um, yeah, it really is very dramatic. Like you saw how like kind of weird and horrible it's sort of that you're like Oh, I don't know. There's such, what could be done with that <laughs> green monster. <laughs> okay, why don't you put the lid on that, please? Thank she you. really wanted to say, "Put the lid on me." Uh, okay. <laughs> this is this is some of my stuff, and I don't even know really what color this is. Is this the black? Oh, you have to mix the black. I am going to mix the black. But this, you can see, is almost the same as coffee, and this is done with um, the tar gel. The tar gel. And, you know, whatever else she could throw at it. <laughs> tar gel, and, and you just want to use your, your color chart. Now, see how I can come off and, and scrape off the top layer of that stuff? And it it's just really it's making all of that work that you've done below it just pop. Mm -hmm. And this is really hard for me to talk and do artwork at the same time. That's why I have Mariah over here. She's well, like, I was doing a pretty good job there. She was doing a pretty good job. And I really, I love that. And I'm even loving the yellow now. It just, and it needs that other yellow underneath it to help keep it yellow it and not turn. Me, but I think it needs, I, I need a little bit more. Limey other, snot green. Other two areas. Yeah, you need a little more, I think. I think I do. I think so, too. We're all in agreement. <laughs> How often does that happen? I'll mark this in the video. What, what time are, oh, you're at one hour. I knew that we were. It took us an hour to agree upon something. <laughs> because what you're what you're doing here when you're putting this in different places is you're drawing the eye around and making everybody look at the different parts of your composition. Yes, that's, that's what you're doing. Basically, we like you know keeping things. You want to have things pointing into your design, and also helping you move around. Now I'm. Thank you. Like all that. Could you please open that? She, she should be feeling very proud that I know these things. I am Because I only know these things because of her. It wasn't the very expensive classes I was supposed to be going to at Texas Tech University. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is, um, I believe, iced tea. Yes. I'll have Mariah check it here in a minute. It is. You are correct. Careful. You are going to, that thing is going to pop out and... Okay, I'm going to put it right beside mine here, 
this is the one that I made for using the uh, tar gel. You can and see what mixed in. Remember we talked about it. Oh, burnt yes. umber. That's right. Uh, you know this, this, and that. I just I, I want to do this because I think you know people. If you don't know, thank you, Becky. She likes how this is coming along. I think I think now it's like uh, you kind of getting the aha moment of okay, you know. So we're rambling on and telling you about all these different things, and then it's like okay, well here's here's the moment when it sort of become it's becoming its end artwork. And I'm kind of trying to knock some of the turquoise back. I don't want all of it. You just need little bits of that. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm feeling really good about this. I don't know. What do you think? I I'm I'm enjoying. Y'all, do you think I need to add any pink or something? I I was just thinking that. I know. Me too. I've got some pink. She does. Look well, you that. have that and the paste. I think maybe a little a little paste. Oh, you mean the actual opaque? Yeah, the, paste. The, well, know. if I do that, then it's going to be done. Oh, that's right. Because I won't be able to do any fun, fun stuff. Okay, I'll tell stuff. you what. I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Then I'm going to do what Mariah asked and come in. And I mean, you know, because I think it'll help. It's a lot like the yellow, where you know I don't know that a lot of it's going to show through. Okay, now this you is, need your little pops here and there. Lovely, because you're going to get your pink. But when you put it over the green, what happens? Here, and just scoot it down just a little bit because it's hitting that weird spot in the light. There we go. That's better. It's one thing working with shiny stuff gets tricky with the. <laughs> and that's you know, I, if if I didn't have Mariah here to do this, I, I this would be such I'm a sucky really... video. I mean, really, honestly. Well, let's be honest. It really wouldn't be a video because, like, she just won't turn the darn camera on. <laughs> I've turned it on once. <laughs> Film the ceiling. The I mean, we're for 25 great. minutes. We, we joke. The, the greatest ceiling. audio ever. And I, you know, it was really? a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Uh, and I asked her. And I, I, I was, and I was so wrong. proud. And I, yeah, I sent it down to Mariah, and she said, "Mom." <laughs> I, 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 like, and I, I sat there I, I for a while. I love you. I love you. But you, know you filmed the ceiling. Oh, and she was just. I was just heartbroken because I it was. I love this kind of peachy thing that's now happening. I know. And I'm, I'm going to, now that I've finished that, <laughs> and I don't have to worry about mucking. Oh, and I really hated using that. Yeah, you should have smushed that off on I something. Didn't have anything That was a rookie move. That was a rookie move. Okay. Now, what Mariah wanted here. <laughs> oh, Be no. Becky, her, her mom takes uh, great pictures, but her thumb's always in the picture. Yeah, we have one of those here, too. <laughs> Heavy on the, uh, I don't know, what happened to my pink? Oh. Is it in the box? No. Well, there's a pink lid. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. This could be. Oh, here, look, you. <laughs> oh, I got stuck. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Pink's in the orange. That makes sense. Well, and I think Izzy took my pink. Yeah, anything pink she really does think is. Oh, yeah. Here's first. this is lovely salmon. It actually changed its snot. Okay, so now I have to decide what stencil to use here. Do you want, do you want to use the new one? Oh, that would be a good thing. I was a very nice daughter. Very nice. Oh, hello, Petra. Petra's here. You came in right at the kind of the good height point of us, like, really working out all of the things that we've been talking about for, like, the last three weeks. All right. So. Okay. This is the new stencil. And I'm telling you, that Yupo, like, the Yupo paper, this is the cool. actual brand, Yupo. Very dangerous because I'm dealing with Is the areas. best stuff to cut a stencil because I can do it on the regular Cricut one pass no problems and I got that fine detail I just you know life is good now if I could just get I, I think I'm hoping that the Cricut maker will um, give us the ability to cut washers that's that's my only like I just have simple asks in the world oh my god that's amazing 
I love that so much. I love it so much too, but I have to do it up here at the top of this. I know you're oh, getting mookie, tricky. Mookie, mookie. <laughs> this is why it. you really should like. Yeah, let let them dry in between. Don't do what I'm doing yeah. here because this is really. We do not recommend stupid. this. But but it's for you guys. <laughs> Just want you to see how wonderful this stuff really is, and and she'll come back through like once some of those other areas dry and and bring a bit more of this into it. But I think this is a good representation of, A, the stencil, which I'm so in love with. And you shouldn't have just two spots. You should No, have. well, that's what I said. You were going to come back later on, but now she's, oh, see, danger, danger. No. <laughs> that scares me. I usually don't watch this sort of thing. It's kind of like, is he okay, eating? and I really, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> That's not to watch. Okay. I want to hit that spot yes. right there, but I, I'm not going to do Don't it. Don't do it. it's just going to. Okay. She has to wait. All okay. right. It I'm, goes I'm off sending that away. Okay. Sending that away. Now I need to get something down here and do some rubby off. Oh, look. This is going to be F. Yes. We're fantastically perfect. <laughs> I don't know if there's any Bridget Jones diary fans out there, but <laughs> FB. Rubby Rubby. Rubby Rubby. Rubby Rubby is his, he says. Rubby Rubby. I just, I've had stencil. I'm so in love with it. It, it still needs a little work, because you see I have one area that sort of popped out there, but, um. Oh, look at that nice mucky muck. Muckety muck. Mucky muck. Oh, I love that. And see, you're getting <laughs> the leftover from what it did pick up. See, this is why you yeah, kind of want to be careful. Yeah, this is the stencil that, you know, really wasn't intentional. But we're just going to go oh, with yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Okay, bottom layer. But isn't oh, that that's... lovely? That dries. I can come back in with sprays. Sprays because it has enough in it that's going to hold that pink. Okay, let's put that on. Look, this side. This Ooh, side. and I like that. Yes, it actually, sometimes she gives me ones that are just, I, I like a very uniform card. I mean, that's just how I am. Let's be honest. But she will put some completely contrasting things on one side to the other. I don't love that. Sometimes it's okay, but ultimately, it hurts my soul. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, okay, whatever. Remember, there's always a little therapy involved in all right, it's art therapy. Yeah. <laughs> Since I've got this out and this lovely pink on here, and I really need a little dot. Where's my other little it, 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 here? Look, it. Oh, and it, it was has, stuck to the other one. Oh, that was oh, one thing. Uh, look, it's it has it wasn't dry when I stuck yeah, it on top. So I was getting things ready last night for the for today, and so the stack of our you know work in in working progress in what am I trying to say work in progress there we go thanks um we're kind of compacted and they had started to stick to one another so much like you know the warning on using Mod Podge because of this tar gel stuff anything that has that in it needs time alone to dry or, we're not talking about a little time. We're yeah, about. like some serious time. And I think partially because we are altering it by putting, I would say that it keeps it open longer. Definitely. With, so we wanted to kind of give that warning. Like if you are, you know, getting mad science-y, like we, we do, one of the things you want to keep in mind is that if you are using like the Golden Opens or any of the other acrylic, like stuff to mix in with the gel, that tar gel, it's going to stay sticky ever so slightly longer than it probably normally would. That's okay. And you could come back, like, one of the things I love is that Distress Glaze, um, like the Micro Glaze, um, Jedkins, I think that's how you say it, also has the exact same stuff. Um, actually tends to be a bit more expensive, but anyway. There's the two versions. Some people use, what, candle wax, sh shoe polish stuff, um, all sorts of things to seal these types of products. 
main thing that you want to remember with that is that make sure you're done. Like you've signed it, you've done everything that you want to do to it. Because once it is sealed, especially with that microglaze, nothing else is going on there. Nothing. Ew. It doesn't stick, doesn't glue. I mean, this has been our experience. I'm sure you could probably use something kind of harsh and rough it back up and maybe it would still work, but best just to keep that in mind and then, you know, use that information to move along. So, what P is doing over here is we have this Vicky boot and stuff, which we quite like, but it just, I don't know, like, a little bit goes a long way. And it needed a little, well, it needed a little PM added to it. <laughs> Mixed with some other things. Stuff. Stuff, you know. So, P, of course, added a bit of, she made her own little mixy here. Yes, well, I, I didn't, I didn't like it. it. It's just. Where are your little notes? Because I'll talk about that while you're scraping. Oh, here. <laughs> stuff in there. It, so, it just looks like the Junior League, you know? Well, something it, that they would paint their bathroom. Alright. That's what she said. That's really. She says what she means. Okay. We wanted to add a little more depth to it. Okay. It's really what. Look at that. And she did that by creating that mix with the Finnabar modeling face because she's running out of her u.s art supply so we wanted to try I, out I another got one. another jar but i can't find it i, oh. I put it away and i, I don't know where it is. Look at that. That looks so cool i just don't know where it is okay here we go putting this thing down cleaning off the stencil so creating kind of a um ombre mixing them together adds a little bit more interest because like if you just put it on there straight it actually detracts from the design and and that's that that layering it, it, it washes it out and that's what we were talking about last night with it being so shiny you have to you know one of the things to keep in mind with that is that it then just kind of keeps the focus right there and you don't have a lot of depth and that's why it's nice to come back with like those glazes and add in that extra depth or shadowing and highlighting and that's kind of what we were doing with those darker glazes or the lighter glaze. And, and then you can kind of create similar things by using three different colors together and doing that ombre. So then you get that bit of interest and movement. How about that? And, that's, and you know what? I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you that because... Her brain's I, like on I, other I'm, stuff. I'm on create mode here. and <laughs> That's my job. I can't talk. And it was so funny because I was watching. This is why we have to talk about it at night. Because I'm like, okay, I need the points like to be able to, while you're doing the do, I do the talky bit. Well, and I'm really upset Ooh, with myself because which, I yeah. did not clean off my palette knife. Sometimes I don't stuck care, it in there. but sometimes I do care. And like I said, it's all her rules. A care time. It's a rule when it's a rule. <laughs> okay, this is indigo. Some of the new Finnabar modeling paste, modeling paste, and turquoise phthalo golden. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? I'm just hoping this is going to be lovely. I do too. I imagined it to be. The color is fantastic. I'm just hoping that this is what this particular print needed because. I got a little heavy-handed with the gold when mm. I was doing my gel print pull, and I'm hoping I have enough. But you can see, like, it requires quite a bit of of the paste to get in there and do the stencil work. Yeah, to make it actually happen, and I. I did watch this one woman, and I, I'm so sorry. Uh, she's I, supposed to write these things down. Because I'm like, am. you know, we want people to talk about us she and remember used, us. She used this <laughs> adhe spray adhesive on the back of her stencils. Oh, was it like to the... To hold them in place. Well, and remember, I think Robin was telling us about that last week, about using that batting spray for fabrics in a similar way. Okay, there you go. That, But then there's that 
I think it's called periwinkle or something like that that you can use on your mats. Um, you actually need to have somebody hold your yeah. thing for you as you're digging your paint out because it's oh here you want me to do that? Place. <laughs> Chasing it around the table. <laughs> decent. Thank you. A decent amount on my. And here I'm gun. now moving it too close to her. She's having to go chicken wing on us. <laughs> I feel like you should lift that up and see what's happening. I think you should just trust me and I'm not lifting it up until I get all of these little edges done here and I'm trying not to get my palette knife underneath yeah, the Yeah, the sp spray mount type stuff is what Carrie's saying. But I think they have like a special one for mats and that's well, hers was not just permanent. Spray adhesive. Oh. That was all that's, it was and I was, that's why I was... That seems a bit I harsh, that stuff. and it stinks. Yeah, and you need a ventilated room. All right, now, oh, thank you. Okay, I'm getting out of your way. I'm gonna. And here we go with this. What's nice to have a stencil where you can grab a hold of an air. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, I don't love it. Yeah, I think you went too far. That was. I knew that. I called that. <sighs> it's all right. We'll work it out. I'll have to do something else. Can you oh, okay. can you rub it off? Here, just scrape it and see what happens over there. Well, I mean, I guess it's really not. I mean, what, what what's our loss here? <laughs> Where's um, my? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Thing. Home. <laughs> well, but probably Damn, I'm kind of liking that. Set a, a bit longer. You would have had the outline. Have the outline, but we don't know that for sure. We do not know that for sure. I think this was the better option, and it'll be interesting if you come back over with some other stuff. Why don't you try to do a little scrapey scrapey there and pick up some of your other on your thing there? Yeah, okay, waste not want not <laughs> <Good news. laughs> maintenance. Well, just so that it's not so. Oh, basing spray is not um, temporary. Like, it's meant to stay. That's well, good that's to know. What I, that is what I always thought. Okay, now, I don't love this, but you know what? I can gel plate over that, and it's yeah. going to be great. Yeah. And, and we're not going to waste this. We're going to use this on something. I don't really know what. Quite yet. Grab something over here. Ooh. You can take that away. Oh. I can take that away. I shall take that away. See, no. I I'm glad you scraped it off, though, because I think that otherwise it would have not necessarily been. Well, and I wouldn't have had a really good Savable. surface yeah. to print on. Stay tuned. Okay, you can see you need to move on this stuff because look how fast that's drying on that, that plate there. But we've got some interesting stuff going on here <laughs> as far as, you know, background stuff going on. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like how it pushes up in those one spots. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of something else, like, this is a new stencil to her, so that, it takes a little getting used to understanding, like, where it's going to push and how to use those wider spaces. She really wanted the big, big version. I was like, I don't think so. We've been having fact, better luck with these I, more I condensed. I could go smaller. Yeah. So I'm going to keep working at that one. Okay. I think but I like can. that. I like it, too, and I think that that's got some definite possibilities there and this is just okay that's part of the stencil I don't have to worry about it coming off on something because it doesn't have the um, dyes in it it's got just the acrylic paint yeah it'll set up it'll set up and it'll become part of the stencil so no worries it's the um, dyes and sprays that you gotta the dyes and sprays they will are, come back <laughs> are the killers <laughs> okay I want to go through um, just for yeah, we're at an hour, hour, hour and a half, okay. and All right. so we can start to sort of wrap things up and kind of maybe, f what, what do you want to, to, 
Oh, you were supposed to mix, mix your black. Oh, uh, I don't really think. Any, it, oh, and I did not. I only have so many wipies. You, you have not supplied me with wipies. I yeah. don't love these new wipies. I, I, I'm Personal. trying to love them because <laughs> the price was right. Um, <laughs> but I, I think we're we'll see if to... we can make art with them. They might be redeeming I themselves. I just threw tons of them. I wish we had a. I, I drew. Look, I dried that one. Okay, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the spray. Oh. And spray those ones, and then we'll call it Dunsies, and and then we'll maybe bring those back around next week. To show now this is the color that I just put down. Probably more of the glazing. I'm thinking this needs more body. It needs more of the paste in it. We'll work out our technique on some to of this. To make it less yeah. liquidy. That's my that's just what I think about that. I don't know. You know? Thoughts. And if Thoughts. there is something in particular that you want us to to show next week, um, come back either leave it in the comments later on once the video has rendered. Or just, you know, message me. However you want to do that. Um, but, yeah, let's spray some of the stuff that hadn't gotten sprayed. Oh, this is your Fenibar, so that'll be interesting. Yes. This is the new, the new stuff. I'm thinking this is what you wanted to do with this, right? Spray some of this. I do want to spray some of that, but I want to show that stencil. Yes. Because this is, this is done with the light and fluffy modeling paste by the Crafters Workshop. Oh, look at her. She and got I, it. <laughs> it is one of my favorites. It's nice and matte and, and almost has like a velvety finish to it. I, I, I really do. Yeah. I love it a lot. All right. So I, I'm just going to randomly grab a couple of sprays. Here's some. Oh, I know. I was going to use my new yes. mixes. The new mixes. The new mixes are made, <laughs> by the way, with Seth. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. I, I tried to um, kind of, I, I'm pulling them off the, the rolly thing here. Okay, I don't know what this one is. I think this was my attempt. Okay, the now, gray? This, now this may be the wonky one. So. No, looks like it's, hey, but that's a good gray. Yeah. How about that? Because we've been trying to work on some and gray. That just, that did not just happen overnight. Oh, goodness, she's just grabbing things from the stack. Oh, this, this worries me. <laughs> this is an authorized use of... This is, this is, this is the same <laughs> stencil that I just used. But that look, does look good. It does look good. Of course it does. Where we see little bubbles... <laughs> Blot. You can, still, you, can, you can still get some good stuff off those. Okay, look at that. Seth, I, I, that's a mixture from... And let me tell you what, I worked at it a long time, right? And, I know. And so, it and doesn't so now seem, here is, it's repelling. The this stencil. is using pomegranate and spring green. So, it's got a little bit more warm warmth to it, which I was really, I was, we've been really trying, trying to get a to cool, get that. we've been trying to get a cool blue, though. Or and I gray. figure that if Mariah hasn't, hasn't um, put tags on these that they're open for more technique and whatnot. I don't know that I agree really with that. Need something. Look at, oh yeah baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh goodness. Get, get a little, you know, I mean you couldn't even tell that those spots were there. And it really does help if you've got something else besides your fingers, but I, I never do. So. so another way to add the it's looking a little bit alligatory, isn't it? That that stencil tends to do that in those. Where's my? I made the most beautiful blue violet. Okay, this is some awesome stuff, folks. It is quite pretty. Look at that. And I know you may go like, "Well, that's not that impressive," but again, like she's mixing these. Okay, hey. If you don't think this is impressive, you you just get back to me after you've tried mixing these things. Yeah. Because I'm here to tell you. Oh, that's beautiful. The back of that card is beautiful. That that's getting somewhere there. And it's a pretty substantial one, so I, I don't think it's going to. Need yeah, she she made some flimsy ones, and I told her that she needed to back off of that paper because it's I watercolor mean, paper, but it does. Well, and then she'd so. do really great things to both sides, and that is not helpful to 
me or the, you know, future recipient of the ATC, which is all, like, flimsy sad. I know. Somebody actually sent me an ATC that was just on paper. Copy paper. And, and it was, like, on... printed. Yeah, I don't think that that's fair. Oh, it was a really wonderful print, but... I don't think that's Come fair. On, folks. Let's get in the game here. <laughs> It was not I equivalent just to stand art. That white corner there, so I had to do something to it. And I'm loving the. This is what's nice about having your neutrals mixed up prior. You can mix them right on on your page, I but mean, you don't always know what you're going to get. And this gives you a little bit more control. control. There we go. Yes. Okay, I'm loving that. Which one haven't I used? I used blue violet. I've used this gray. Here, amber. Amber. I haven't used amber. And amber and violet mixed oh, together dear. are just absolutely stunning. I'm loving this, like, uh, what do you call it? A tri triad color wheel? I guess. Would well, it be? This is complimentary. See, I, don't, I don't remember that much. This is complimentary. But if you're doing triad, it's equal distance apart on there the color go. wheel. So if you were to use yellow, blue, and red, you know, that would be. But where you get mm. in interesting triads is when you're using the intermediate yeah. colors or even the tertiary. And I would say, there we go, tertiary. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to mess with color wheel. Don't it's mess. already messed up. <laughs> Last week's spring got a little crazy. Now look at that. See how it's it's catching on the um, the little raised parts of the stencil. But also notice that see it's not taking the the paste is not taking in the color as much. But and if you're using the the acrylics, of course it's going to co color. But you get just enough difference. You can see what is because there's two layers here. All right, you gotta, yeah, you got to hold it in the, oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> There's two layers here. So, Well, this is called vision. Two layers here. This is a wipe off, a, a screen cleaning layer. This is regular and then sprayed over the top with some other, you know, obviously different. But the purple is the paste. Like it was colored paste. Yes. No, the purple was not colored. No? No, it just got colored. Oh, with the spray. Oh, so it is taking the, the spray. Okay, that's really horrible. So. Why? Well, at least make it orange. There. I like that. The nice thing about those kind of crazy pinks is they are very easily, like, altered to a more... Yeah, if you, you get it on the paper and you go, oh. Oh, that's what... Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> So, there you go. All right. Nice, peachy. I think we okay. shall start wrapping up here. Yeah? Um, or do you want to spray that one? I want to spray this one. Okay. Now, I think this is really nice. I'm going to leave this just like it is. I like it. It needs a, a bit of blotting. And I wish I had just a piece of paper here. But, oh, here. There you go. Some from last week. <laughs> it's already been blotted once. Mm-hmm. You notice the stencil. I mean, you're not getting a lot there, but every you'd be little, surprised that like every little bit is another layer. I'm loving that. Isn't that pretty? And it does. It's interesting. So see the the finabar. Look, it's now I put it, it on very thin because I didn't know. Yeah, it's not take it, it. It's letting it come through in some of those spots, but, but then not others, others. Oh, I love that. That's uh, just some awesome stuff. Thank you, finabar. If you're watching this video. I'm sure because they knew all about us. <laughs> or somebody okay, share hey, it too. The reason I I, be sweet. I I purchased that particular. Look at this, Mariah. Isn't that that's really pretty? Yes, I love that. I, I'm really liking I'm that a lot. Here. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Well, you can see this is a brayer off on craft paper. Ooh, that looks good. And I'm thinking. I'm a little nervous about what you're going to do to it. Well, I'm going to pink it. Especially this end where it doesn't have any. Yeah. Because we know that we can do things to it. Yeah. Here's, this says light amber, but it's actually kind of my gray color. 
I like that. Hey. Interesting. This is light and fluffy paste. This is, yes, this is the light and fluffy paste. Okay, do you see what I just did? To get some of that white to come back, all I did was just put that down there. Because the longer it sets on there, the more it will kind of soak in. I, again, I'm still a little like unsure about how much it colors when it has dried and is set. And color hasn't been added to the paste. Now, I am going to come back with some of the... Uh, like Seth's coffee spray, mm. or coffee glaze. glaze, and add in that depth, and add in that depth. But right now, I feel a, a little apprehensive about doing that because I think yes, that, it's yeah, that, that's done. Okay, now we've got lots of browns going on here, and I think that's okay. But I'm going to go to my. Are you gonna brighten it up a little? Oh God! Up. <laughs> Blue. Tell you what, that blue, man, it's a, it's a gift that keeps on giving. <clears throat> it really is, and it's very strong, and if you're using it... And it will come through. And it will come through. It will come through. But you can see it is really staining that. Mm-hmm. It's very... I, I think it's due to the amount of pigment it requires to create blue. I think so, too. Or what pigment it requires. There's a Here, this is it. the wonky one. Can you see? It's kind of doing a... <laughs> A you're little side you're pointing this way, but it does spray that way. <laughs> okay, doing a little blotting. If I had a piece of paper, I would put it down and then get that off of there, but I don't want to Here. take time to do that. Here, here's one. Just keep adding to that one. I don't think I already got most of it, but Ooh. yeah, I'll just keep yeah. that. There you go. Okay, so you can see that. You can see any place that you had the kind of orange... Color, some, some, another layer is going to need to come back in and tone a little bit of that down on those edges. Yeah, that that's pretty powerful. Or just use your little window. Here, bring your window in. And you know, you just tear off those. Oh, I like that though. See, that's what it needed. Just, that just, is what it needed. Just, Amber. Tap it back a little. Okay, this is the one that spent a lot of time in the alcohol bath in the bathroom. <laughs> the sprayer. The sprayer. Just trying to get some of this off of the... She actually had to dig some of that stuff out of the... Not, like, get in there with a little pen and dig it out. I'm liking that. But see, I think what would have been so cool is if you would have kind of come in and ombre your paste in with, like, the taupey paste in certain mm. areas with that. Or, you know, we could even come back and do it another layer on top of that. Absolutely. Which would be pretty cool. Absolutely. So then you start, you know, knocking back the little bits of white. It's, um, every layer counts. It does. Or you should try to make every layer count. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Every layer should count. I, I like that statement. PM Artist Studio. <laughs> Make it count. Make it count. Make that layer count. And and, and, and the other thing, and, and Seth says this, and I, I know this to be true. See? Look what we got there. We got some of that oh, This cool is a big stuff. old Seth love fest. I'm going to have to let well, him know. Well, it's that. just because it's fresh in my memory banks, and, you know. God I am loving that. Three days later, I can't remember crap. Um, so, when you do, when you do your layers, don't think that. Each layer has to be absolutely okay. This is it. You just add a little bit at a time and build it up and make your layers count. And that that's where this is going to go because it's going to get another layer of stenciling here. Yeah, and it's also going to get a dollop of some of the glazes. Yeah, I think that will help too. And, and, will and that'll knock back some of those crazy white, like just. Just to add that little bit of, yeah, again, flow. Look at this corner down here. Isn't that beautiful? All right, you, you came in hot. It took a minute to... There you go. Perfect. Look at that. That was some good focusing. I love that corner. Oh, and where's my little... Where's window my on there. Okay. 
Okay, Charlotte, <laughs> look at that. Is that not going to be just a wonderful little car? And then maybe this area up here. I think mo most people that are in the chat here have, um, have received or will be receiving an ATC. But, you know, if you guys want more, let us know. We'll send yeah, you. Yeah, and if you have one that you specially like. Show me yours and I'll send you mine. That's what she says. Show me yours. <laughs> I'll show you mine. Okay. Oh, no worries, Lisa. Lisa, just say hello. We're, we're kind of wrapping up, I think. We are. Now, here is, remember this one? We did this early on. Is it it's dry? It's pretty dry. I think it's not quite dry enough for me to start coming in no, and it'll... And rubbing stuff around quite yet. But Because it, it, at, at a certain point, it will sort of reactivate. And then it becomes mushy again. Yeah, if it hasn't make set, sure it's, it's dry. It, it needs to be dry. Don't don't. Because it'll mush. It'll that. mush about. It will. Because even some of those that um, you had given me that were pretty set, once I started spraying things on top of them again, it kind it of get, activated them, and I was like, "Ooh, that's getting a little mushy." A, if they, and if they start, if you really saturate them, it, it will. So if you don't want that to happen, I highly recommend you cover it with either your, you know, clear gesso. Again, be careful. Or one of if the... If you sprayed blue, it's going to be, you know, matte coming mediums. through. You know, any anything that's going to put a protective layer down there. Yeah. I think that was a good wrap-up of kind of yeah. sort of back around to all those things, making sure that uh, we've, we've done all the, the deals there. Um, if you are new and haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, please do. If you haven't hit the like button on this video, please do that. That really does help us. Um, hopefully, you know, we, one of these days we'll make it to a thousand oh, subscribers. Okay. To get to... <laughs> Slowly but <laughs> surely. Bring this back for just a moment. Bring it back. Bring it back for just a moment. Oh, she's doing the four seasons with this thing, I yeah. think, right? Uh -huh. So that was the... I'm going to do a pink up there and I'm um, I don't have the... Well, you know what? Purple. Stay tuned for next week on that one. Yeah, I don't... And, uh... Oh, and I forgot to talk, but Felicia didn't show up. This is made from sewing those little things together that we talked about. She mm -hmm. sent me these strips in a Happy Mail. She did send us quite the lovely box of awesomeness that, was that I have not done a Happy Mail video about. lovely textures were on some of those gel plates that I showed you at the very mm -hmm. beginning. Yeah. Yeah, that we haven't taken pictures of, and we are going to. We're also going to take some pictures of what we've done today and hopefully have those up throughout the week in Instagram. That's kind of our plan. Yeah, that's our plan. We'll see how well that works. I think and I'm just going to continue on doing this. And so, I was going to say if you want to watch, you can, but that's not going to work, is it? Well, I mean, I could leave the feed going, but <laughs> there's not going to be a lot of talkie. <laughs> okay, now. No, because I really I don't. She's killing me. Isn't this? I, I just got to show them this last thing. Ryan. Wait, wait. Give me five more minutes. Thing. Five more minutes. Because now you can start oh, seeing that those is some good other, stuff there. The other. And then what I'm going to show you, you can do is you can take and come in and rub that stuff around. But see how that's making, because the value was so close there. That's your caramel mix. No. Oh, that's the iced tea. This is, the, uh, and if you want to use something that's really stiffer and has a little more body, this is the thing to go to. The other stuff is kind gel. of, yeah, it's, it's, it's difference between it's glaze a, and gel. It's jelly and, and it moves about and you can move it. You can move it, move it. You can move it. And <laughs> the, um, I think the ice has a nice mellow sort of satin finish, finish to it. The other stuff is definitely gloss. This is high gloss. Ice. This is some shiny. It <laughs> makes you want to think that it's raining outside. Oh, I should just get some on there and show you. This, uh, this, this card is. <laughs> and not, then I promise. And then I'm I just, promise I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna turn off the stream. <laughs> Let her just do her thing over my area. That's what I usually end up doing. Oh, I do want to say a little teaser. The shibori papers are almost done. And they are so beautiful. I'm pretty proud of them. Mariah should be because really, honestly, they... I mean, these things have been going on for a while. I feel like I have talked about Shibori for like the last 
two months. But you can see there's a lot more gloss to so the, the one done with the tarp. The name of that one. What do you mean, Becky? The name oh of oh in the little jar, the mix. Uh, that's 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 the tar gel that's, and the iron yellow iron oxide with a dollop of burnt umber or um, Van Dyke brown and I go. can't remember which one. Sorry. I would say it was the burnt because I think the Van Dyke brown is what you added to that one paste that's that darker. Right. And you you don't need to add much. No. Like when she says like just a little I'm talking about a drop. A drop of the fluid acrylic. Because, you, again, you don't want to add too much to it because, then like I said, squish on well, you. and who knows when it's going to dry. I mean, it will, eventually. <laughs> but, who knows? When you get all mad sciencey like this, it's just kind of fingers crossed. Because <laughs> some of those cards, seriously, they, they've been... They, yes. it's been... It's been a few days, but they had, like, heavy amounts they're like glass. Almost kind of like those resin pours. It, it really, Maybe we should try not, some. I just, but I don't like the smell. I don't want the smell of that stuff. Well, I just right? don't, don't I know think when it, we're going to have the opportunity well, yeah. with it. Because she'll be all up in it. Oh, yeah. That will be right down her. Maybe when she's like seven. Allie. It'll be a while, guys. No. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Unless we win the lottery and we can build some awesome studio thing and hire somebody to come take care of her while we <laughs> yeah actually do something yeah there you go okay guys um we'll show more of what P is doing yeah thank y'all for and, you Here, know I, it, w it wouldn't be nearly as much fun if I didn't have Mariah over here reading your comments and talking to me and there, scoot in and let's say bye was a good day. It was a good day. Thank you guys so day. much. Thank you for being here. And uh, again, come back. Let us know in the comments or in the chat what you want us to do next week. If you want us just kind of do some more things, let us know either on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. We're going to be posting some pictures. So that would be the opportunity to do that as well. Like if you see something and go, oh, that was cool. I didn't remember seeing that or I want to see more of that. Those are the times because I know a lot of you guys we see on social media here and there, Facebook and all that. So thank you all. Um, Carrie, Petra, Becky, and if Lisa, you want to know Cookie Wookie. Black, I can do that. I, I, I have black lights here. And we had a couple other new ones. Sorry, I didn't uh, get you. Christy, of course, we love you. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>